Hello, my name is Darren Hart, Senior Service Technician with Raypack. After watching this video, you will be able to reverse the headers on our Raypack pool heater. Our residential pool heaters are built with the inlet, outlet, water connections on the right hand side. If your customer's setup requires the water to be plumbed in on the left side of the heater, you will need to reverse the headers. The tools you will need are a drill with a Phillips bit or a Phillips screwdriver a 7 16 inch deep socket wrench with extension, a crescent wrench, and needle nose pliers. This video is intended for heater modification prior to installation. If you are working on a heater that is already in place, verify the following before starting. The power has been shut off to the unit, the gas has been shut off to the unit, and the system pump has been shut off. On the right side of the heater, remove and set aside the accessory box. Remove the two orange plugs that cover the inlet and outlet holes. Using your screwdriver or drill, remove the three screws from the lower access panel. Pull the panel off and set it aside. Remove the six screws from the upper access panel and pull it off the heater. Using a deep socket wrench, remove the nut holding the heat shield in place and remove the heat shield. Disconnect the wires from both high limit switches and the pressure switch. Using your crescent wrench, loosen the compression nut from the top of the temperature sensor, then pull up on the sensor to remove it. Move the wires out of the way. Remove the 12 nuts from the inlet outlet header, taking care not to bend the bolts or strip the threads. Carefully remove the inlet outlet header and set it aside. Place the header on a flat surface, gasket side up to avoid damaging the gasket. On the left side of the heater, remove the 7 screws from the access panel. Pull the panel off the heater and set it aside. Remove the 12 nuts holding the return header to the tube bundle and slide the header off the stud bolts. The stud bolt configuration is identical on both sides of the heater. Prior to installing both headers, make sure the gaskets are properly seated. You can now install the inlet outlet header on the left and the return header on the right. When tightening the nuts, use this torque pattern to ensure equal tension around the perimeter. Be sure not to over tighten the nuts. Tighten until snug, then turn the wrench a half turn more. Install the heat shield on the left side of the heater. Using your fingers or the flat blade screwdriver, remove the knurled thumb screw on the door assembly. Pull the door assembly off and set it aside. The safety wiring and temperature sensor must be pulled into the front of the heater and rerouted to the appropriate points on the header. Tighten the Jayco fitting on the temperature sensor hand tight then use a wrench and tighten one quarter turn more. The access panels must be reinstalled on the opposite side from their original location, aligning with the inlet outlet header and return header's new configuration. Reinstall the front door assembly. Turn the power, gas, and system pump on. For more information about this product, visit us at raypack.com. Please subscribe to the Raypack channel on YouTube for additional how-to videos.